gruesome decades-old secret in Lawndale comes to light. A homeowner digs up a shallow grave in his backyard, and it may not be the only one buried there. Fox 11's Gina Silva here with more on this very unusual story. Gina. Well, it's very interesting because most people would probably describe it as a gruesome discovery. But these Lawndale residents are actually grateful there may be human remains in their backyard. My dad used to tell us, hey, there's a graveyard out there with like 17 people that are dead. And I'm going, yeah, right. I Jay Gould went digging for answers. And to the surprise of his neighbors, dug up a grave. He's Jewish. World War II veteran Earl Hoffman died on December 14, 1951. Jay says approximately 20 years ago, his neighbor was planting trees when he came across some graves. He contacted Jay and both called the mayor of Lawndale. He looked at us all and he says, you shouldn't say anything because they're going to destroy your property. They're going to do all kinds of stuff and those graves should not be touched, ever. No one said a word. Jay is the only survivor with that knowledge. So when Metro announced plans to build the Sea Line extension through their Lawndale neighborhood, Jay spoke up. But he says no one believed him. And I don't lie. I don't, I don't drink. I don't... I can't do this. I'm so sorry, sir. And they called me a liar. They, they, they're not nice people. For me, that was... It's hard to see <laughs> because Jay's been yelling about this for so long and nobody's taken him seriously. We knew that there were internments through this area. Yeah. Residents had always heard rumors, but now they have proof and they're hoping it will stop Metro from building the Sea Line extension through their neighborhood, which already has a freight line practically in their backyard. They're trying to put a commuter train next to this uh, freight line. What they want to do is move the, move the freight line closer, uh, closer to, to the west, which puts it closer to homes. This berm that is 25 feet high right now is going to have to be moved right here. And the freight train that's currently on the tracks will be moved within 8 to 10 feet of homes. And if there is a freight train or a metro train that derails, it's going to fall and it's going to go right through homes and people are going to die. Lawndale City Manager Sean Moore says Metro officials told him their records do not show any information of potential grave sites at that location. It could impact the project. I mean, I, I have to defer to Metro on that, but they definitely need to probably have somebody come out and investigate that and look into this matter and see what the next steps are. Here's the grave. The discovery was actually made on Josh Standifer's property. This is technically the right of way. And I'm hoping this young man will help us make sure that this train never comes through Lawndale and we can leave him where he rests. Metro issued a long statement that says in part, the L.A. County coroner acts as lead in assessing potential burial sites. Metro will follow the California Health and Safety Code provisions and provide updated information on any further investigations that are necessary. We will have the full statement up on our website. And obviously the residents are hoping that that discovery will stop their plans. And it was quite something to see Jay get so emotional. He is so stressed out about this because nobody believed him. You know, he kept telling the story about about his dad telling him about those burial sites and he had actually seen it as a kid but had no proof because everything had been covered up and, and he had a heart attack when he was actually at one of the meetings trying to tell them wow. you can't do this there's a burial site and are they in touch with any of the family members of the people that are buried there they're not they're not they're trying to find out more information mm -hmm. you yeah. know that was uh, the, the the gentleman buried died in 1951 right wow. so yeah. what a story all right, Gina, thank, thank you. Thanks, Gina.